it's Audrey. How are you today? I hope all is going well. I wanted to do a little video regarding pendulums and how to use them and how to get accurate answers with them. So let me just create some space here. Okay, the magic of video. All right, so I have here my pendulum and it has a chakra bracelet on it and a little charm on the end. So pendulums can be used to get divination answers, yes or no answers to questions that you have. Um, but there's two secrets to using a pendulum, and I'll tell you both of those today, okay? So the proper way to hold a pendulum, first of all, some people will hold it up like this, but if you hold it up like this, your arm is going to get tired after a while. I mean, how many questions are you going to ask? Probably, you know, sometimes quite a few, and your arm is going to get really tired. So, plus you can influence the answers too, so we don't want that. So what I always ask people to do is to drape it over your first knuckle and hold the charm. So you just put it over your knuckle, anchor your elbow, or put your elbow on the table, okay? So pull your fingers back so it's a straight line all the way down. From there, you can get a good swing on the pendulum and that's what you want. You don't want your your knuckles getting in the way, you know, where your fingers are close by and you want to be able to get a good swing so you get the accurate answers that you're seeking. Okay? So, I always set the intention, this is secret number 1, set the intention that only you and your main spirit guide can use this pendulum. Okay? So, my guide's name is Rita, so only Rita and I can use this pendulum right now. And then I always ask, let me brace my elbow here. I always ask, Rita, are you there? And I'll get a yes answer usually. And then I ask her to show me a no answer, okay? So for demonstration purposes, Rita, can you please show us a yes answer? What a yes answer looks like for you and me, okay? So for me and Rita, a yes answer is forward and back, okay? Please show us a no answer. And I am holding my arm, so I'm not moving the pendulum. And you can see that the pendulum is moving slowly from left to right. So left to right is a no answer, okay? Now some guides may want to use circular motions, like clockwise and counterclockwise. It all depends on what your guide answers with, with the pendulum swing. So some guides, I'm purposely influencing for demonstration here. So some guides may have it go clockwise, some guides may have it go counterclockwise, and some guides may go left to right for yes. So it could be a little bit different from mine. It's all in how you set your communication with your guide. And you can ask them to use forward and back as yes or left to right as no if you wish. And most times they will comply with that but I let Rita choose and that's what she chose for us. So forward and back is yes and left to right is no for us, for Rita and myself, okay? So I'm getting ready to ask a question and I'm thinking, oh gosh, if I was 17 years old and I had a crush on Johnny in my class and I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope Johnny asks me out. Is he gonna ask me out? Is he gonna ask me out? And I'm gonna be like, oh gosh, I hope Johnny asks me out and then I get a yes answer. And then Johnny doesn't ask me out. Hmm. Well, then the pendulum had to be wrong. But was it really? Or was your energy going down the pendulum to create the answer that you were seeking? So what we do is we, we do this. When we ask a question, we ask another question immediately after it. And that question is, secret number two is... I wonder what the answer will be. So, okay, if I was my 17-year-old self and I had a crush on Johnny in my class, and I'd be asking, okay, only my guide and I can use this pendulum. Is Johnny going to ask me out? And I would get a no answer because I asked the question, I wonder what the answer will be. And then I would get an accurate answer. So some people also want to know the name of their guide. So you can do that. Once you have a yes or no answer established, you can do that. So you have a yes answer, you have a no answer, and you ask, is my main guide female energy? 
is my main guide male energy. And you'll get a yes for one and a no for the other. If you get a yes for both, it's possible you could have two guides. Okay, so just putting that thought out there too. So then you ask, okay, how many letters is in the name of my guide? What does my guide want me to call? Call them. So how many letters are in the name? And when I was doing this with Rita, I got four. And I'm like, oh good, only four letters. So that makes a lot less work, right? The less letters, the less work. Because then what you do is you go, the first letter starts with, does it start with A? Does it start with B? Does it start with C? And you go through the, the alphabet. Imagine how anxious I was getting when I got to R. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. So then I got to the I, and then I got to the T, which took a little while also. And then at that point, the name kind of popped into my head. Rita. Mm, okay. I've never known a Rita. So, and then I would ask, is my main guide's name Rita? And I'd get a yes answer. Okay. And I'm getting a yes right now. So you want to brace your elbow and brace your arm though, um, to make sure that you're not shaking and not influencing um, in that way. And then again, set your intention that only you and your guide can use the pendulum. And that um, second question, every time you ask a question, I wonder what the answer will be. That shuts off your energy, it shuts off your thinking, and it allows for the real answer to come through. I've had a lot of people asking me about pendulums lately and, and how to actually use them properly. So I thought I'd do a little video on that. If you have any questions, reach out and let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.